Evan with Green Thumb Organic Lawn Care here. We're at a lawn that we're just gonna call JK's Lawn today. Um, this potential customer had a couple inquiries um, about some of the products we use and how we do things and said, let's go ahead and do the soil test and see what's going on. Now he's done this work himself. He's using actual natural organic stuff himself already, which is, is great to see. Um, and it looks great up here. Um, he's doing a really good job. You get around the side here and he's kind of projecting on this side to try to get grass growing here again. It's really compacted. Um, really compacted. The clay soil conditioner would help that for sure, but he's going to try to till this up and add some topsoil. Um, and I'm sure that'll probably work, but this may be an issue by the time we get to the fall, maybe not. So we wouldn't really know how much seed we would want to be putting in here. We'll just see kind of how it turns out for him. Um, and then we, as we get around to the side here, we've got a lot of Poa Anua uh, going on right here. The customer is very familiar with his grasses. He's kind of like me, when he gets into something, he really gets into it. So he's very familiar with what's going on there. Um, again, we would just need to seed heavily, heavily, heavily in here um, and try to crowd this out and just keep feeding the good grass before this stuff comes in in the winter. And uh, hopefully we can choke it out, at least get some of it back to fescue. Um, and I, I suggest that this is all going to perfect seed head right now. It's just as, as seedy as it's going to be for the year. So if he's got a bagger to just just kind of mow it short one time and bag it up and get rid of it. And that'll help next year with the amount of poa that we end up with. So it's just kind of patchy through here. But the main deposits are around this rock in the middle here. And then from here, kind of that area all the way over to right there. All right, so that's the Poa Anua. Um, we have seen some Poa Triv, uh, Trivialis as well, um, but it's not near as much of a problem for him. Um, and then we have this. Uh, Mike, you have to help me with this. I'm not sure, maybe, maybe bent grass? Uh, I'm not sure, but anyway, um, he may want to get rid of this come this fall. Um, and being that it's a summer grass, um, It'll work well. There's just little patches of it. Um, I'll see if I can point them out here, there, there, and there were maybe two more over there. Um, but if that's something that he decides in the fall that we, we want to go through here and just kill it and then reseed, and that's what we'll do. Now he's got the uh, same problem as the neighbor over there, Mr. O. Um, once you get down here into the water table, we're down here at the lake level. Um, we got a lot of um, nutsedge coming up, it's the nickname water grass. So we need to deal with that. And then let me get another view. So this is more of that bent grass up there. It's just spotty right here. It's pretty much either that or something else other than fescue growing all the way basically to about right here just kind of that whole corner um, if it again if he wants to go to a strictly fescue lawn then we would just need to wipe that out late summer come through seed it all um, but we'll just have to see what what time brings some more of that here let me even back up so i can give you a full picture all right um about like that looks to be the, the general size of it um some smaller areas that he has killed bermuda from last year we'll see if it's really killed see if it makes it or comes back or is just gone he's going to try to water water this in you'll have to watch it this summer when it gets um to be hot this will want to <clears throat> want to cook real fast on you because the roots won't be that developed but when you do get it to start and germinate that air eight that the customer has um, i would apply multiple applications two or three of that to this to help those roots um, and again that's a product that we we have a similar product too that we prefer um, called bio air 
it has the same effect but <clears throat> okay so the stone again and then we're looking pretty good mostly fescue near these shade trees it's just out here i'm sure it's where bermuda is here or some other kind of summer grass and when it goes dormant this um poa anua just have a great opportunity to jump in here so anyway we we'll get the soil test sent off and let the lab tell us exactly what the soil needs to be thr a thriving um, habitat for tall fescue. And we can get that down for you, get you started off to a good year. And then by this time next year, have you looking a lot better. All right, this is Evan with Green Thumb, signing out.